Hey everyone, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. Today it is happening. We are clearing out the dressing room. Now, the like the state of this room at the moment is just disgusting. Like things are just like hanging off hangers. There's things underneath like where there shouldn't be things and it's just a bit kind of a bit cluttered. There's too much in here. I started with my t-shirts the other day. If you follow me on Depop, it's at Emily Cannon. I popped some on there, but basically I managed to clear this much space the other day, which is massive because I'd completely run out of space. And I didn't even go through all of these, so that's good. But I mean like this section down here I have not like reached for anything from there literally since I moved in six months ago so I really don't know why it's still there but yeah I have kind of piles of stuff on the floor boxes to sort like it's a bit it's insane we need to fix this this is what the floor situation looks like so like these are part that's a part for a giveaway that's new in stuff that's new in stuff that I wore the other day and just chucked it on the floor and this is broken so you know it's just a bit of a collection of things the shoe shelves aren't too bad they could look prettier um, and then my desk, my desk clear, it just needs a clean, and then yeah, so I mean, I feel like I don't need this many jackets, I need to clear this out, even though that kind of breaks my heart, but the real problem is these drawers, like, they're starting to overflow, um, and it's just a bit of a problem, like, how am I supposed to find anything in there, so, yeah, that's the goal, to kind of clear out these drawers, get some more kind of hanging space like I do not need this many clothes I feel like we'll leave the dress section for now uh, I think we should probably start at jackets we'll start with all the hanging and then we'll move on to the dreaded drawers <laughs> I also just burnt my tongue with some pasta and it really hurt so I'm really sad about that okay so jackets I'm not gonna lie I don't actually reach for many of these at all which is really bad I just wear my Levi's denim jacket like every single day but a lot of these are for like dressier occasions like i have this blazer which to be fair i haven't worn in like the longest time it wouldn't be my like jacket of choice but i don't actually own another blazer see when i put it on i'm like oh my god it's too cute and then i never wear it so i'm gonna give this blazer one more chance however if i do find a um like kind of nudie kind of blazer that i've been looking for for like this summer then this one will go okay this has to go this is from zara it still has the tags on now this was a co-ord with a skirt i got it for i wore it for my 21st birthday but i never actually wore the jacket and i just think it's just not very me so this is on the depop pile similarly i bought this jacket from zara and i never wore it so can't keep it i've had this for the longest time i don't actually wear it anymore and i just don't think i'm going to so that one is going to go as well oh my gosh i can't believe how brutal i'm being oh my gosh okay this top shot jacket is going this cost me so much money but i never wear it like i love it and i think it's so cool but it like just doesn't have the nicest shape in the world and like do you know what i mean it's just it's very nothingy it just looks dirty yeah this isn't very me like I don't even know what I'd wear this with. Oh, but part of me wants to keep it. Oh, why do I do this to myself? Right, I'm gonna keep this for one more season just because this is like, you know, it's a summery piece. It cost me a lot of money, so it's not like it's kind of gonna break anytime soon. But we'll see what happens. Okay, next up we have this uh, pink denim jacket from Zara. I love this when I bought it, but gotta admit, I barely wear it. And I don't actually know why I don't wear it because it's pretty cool. I just don't. I don't know, I don't tend to wear that much colour like this, but oh, I kind of want to keep it. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. I feel like I, this isn't even a wintry piece, so I can't even judge if I do wear it much or not because it's not winter. However, the next item has to go because this is a pink Zara, uh, like, kind of leather look jacket. And these were so hyped last year, I think it was. And I, like, there was, like, a blue one that everyone had, and I got the pink one. But I think I've only worn it once. And also, if I'm keeping the pink denim jacket that I can't really keep the pink leather jacket but I never wear it so how can I how can I want to keep it if I don't wear it okay that's gonna go on the I don't know so I'm hanging it back up but maybe it will go in two weeks pile okay this is staying now I don't wear this a lot but when I do wear it it's really handy to have this is from uh misguided I think yeah I've had this for years it's just a really handy thing to have I would probably like to get a better quality one because this one's a bit slouchy, I'd like a bit of a more structured one, but until then, I shall keep it. This is my Zara puffer jacket. Now, I wore this so much when I first got it, but I feel like I've kind of overworn it now. So, yeah, I'm going to pass this on to a new home because I can't see myself wearing this again anytime soon. My Levi's Mickey Mouse jacket, my Wrangler jacket. I don't actually wear this much, so I'm going to pass this one on. My Jack Wills blazer, I've had this for years. Hobbs jacket. Zara jacket, I wear that so much. I love all my Jack Wheels coats. They are not going anywhere, like 
no way. Jack Will's Coat Zara jacket. Oh, I haven't actually worn this. This is a Primark blazer. And I haven't worn it, but I do really like it. And I think I will wear it in the autumn, so I'm going to keep it. Another Jack Wheels coat, a Zara blazer that I didn't get to wear yet, but I like it. The only jacket that I ever seem to wear, which is my Levi's denim jacket. My two, I'm keeping both of my leather jackets, just because. Um, my Zara coat, I wear that, and I wear that. So that's all my jackets. I mean, I feel like we've got rid of four. That's good. Four's good. It's better than none. And then over here, I just have some, like, long hanging. So I have... A jumpsuit, I wore this to summer in the city last year. I have this, oh, it's a long dress. This Topshop dress needs to go because I haven't worn that and I'm not going to. This Zara dress that I wear every year to death. Again, and actually, do you know what? This can go because I'm not gonna wear this. This is like literally a dress you'd wear when you're like pregnant. It's just a bit, do you know what I mean? H&M dress that I absolutely love. Uh, Forever 21 dress that I've had for like six years. These are just really chill dresses from Primark and Zara. My Jack Wills dress that I love. H&M dress. I don't actually wear this much anymore, so this can go to a new home. Um, my Jack Wills dungarees, which are awesome. They're like velour dungarees, like velvet. And then my Jack Wills dress, which I haven't actually worn in the summer yet. I've worn this in like autumn with kind of turtle neck underneath, but I haven't had the chance to wear it in the summer. And then we have a spotty Topshop dress, which is like the handiest thing. Okay, well that's created some space. A little bit. So onto the section that looks like it's pretty much already been done. It, it has, but there's definitely more things I should like kind of pass on here. So uh, right here, I have all my scarves. None of these are going. I just, you know, I'm very picky with my scarf collection anyway. Uh, so firstly, we have this top, which I always say I'm gonna wear again. And I never do. I loved this when I was younger. I got so much wear out of it, but it's just, you know, time to pass it on which makes me really sad, but I'm just not gonna wear it, so there's no point. Okay, my Mickey's Levi top, Vans top, these are all like really regularly worn or kind of dressier things that, you know, I wanna keep and like, think maybe things that I wear in the summer and not necessarily in the winter, so they haven't been worn for a while. I'm gonna pass on this Primark vest top that I wore in Orlando just because the sleeves kept falling down on me. I don't know if it's my body shape or just the top, but they kept falling down and um, it stops me wearing it. I've never worn this, but I love it. And every part of me wants to wear it, but I just haven't yet. So I'm going to keep it and I'll just try and, you know, it'll be one of the things that I have in mind to kind of not force myself to wear, but you know. This H&M top, I love the idea of it, but I, again, never reach for it. But it's such an easy kind of top. But I don't really feel good when I wear it. Maybe if I wear it in like a skirt or something instead. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. Although I have a navy version, which I'm going to get rid of. So that's compromise. Love these. These can all stay love 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 i've had these for years but i love them all this is the navy version of the h&m top that is going to be passed on i have this denim top from zara i think this still has the tags on i had every intention of wearing this but i just never have maybe i could take it to coachella with me but like i don't really think it's like you know i'll keep it out and try it on it's not really the thing i can shove over my t-shirt right now love that love that oh don't wear that enough love love gonna get rid of this long adidas t-shirt dress because it's going a bit like it's breaking a little bit gonna get rid of this zara top because i cut the sleeves and that looks ugly and then i just have loads of kind of turtlenecks and stuff which i don't really know why i hung up because i don't wear them that much but in the winter they're like my go-to for layering so if you live in london like you know well even in the uk just layering in general is key but look at all that come on look at that space this is where it kind of gets tricky because i have more t-shirts down here that definitely shouldn't be down here so this is, where's this, this Hollister, isn't it? Love this. Uh, I'm never gonna wear this again. That can go, it's just a vest top. I have so many like vest tops that just don't quite fit me right. So it's, it's really annoying. Ooh, cute cami. This is staying, this is handy. This can go, I got some Primark uh, like a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. Loved it when I got it, wore it a ton. And now I just don't wear it anymore. These two Zara Raw Necks are staying in the like autumn winter. These are my absolute go-to. This Primark jumper can go, I just, haven't worn it it's a bit bright for me i had every intention of wearing it but this is a primark kind of back wing top i had every intention again of wearing this but i just haven't and i just i don't know what stopped me i think i wanted this for more like dressier occasions we'll keep it just because i feel like you know i had a reason for buying it or something in my head that was like emma you should get that I have cardigans juicy track suits my loves all that the other day i do not wear these check shirts so these can go because They've been fun, but I don't wear them anymore. I've told you, I'm being brutal. So these shirts I always keep, but I never actually wear them. 
they're not gonna stay just they're staples to have but i need to figure out like when i'm gonna wear them okay the rest of these t-shirts needs to go back up here i feel like that's a bit disappointing with the jumper rail but i mean you should see the pile on the floor it's pretty big if i'm being completely honest the idea of getting rid of any of these dresses just makes me really sad but you know there's there's so many that i don't wear anymore and um yeah I'm, I'm kind of this mindset now it's like if i wouldn't pack it in my suitcase to kind of like say someone said to me right you have to leave now take take in your suitcase what you want to take with you you can't come back here and i know that's drastic and like, really dramatic but like i feel like if i wouldn't put it in the suitcase then why why am i keeping it in my life it's just you know cluttering my life up so oh let's start with the white as you can see everything's color coordinated it, we go lighter to darker it's just how i find it easy so i'm gonna get rid of this Bershka dress just because i loved it but you know i don't it's not really my vibe anymore and um yeah it doesn't fit me quite the way i'd want to my jack wool shirt dress i'm gonna keep it's a staple my pull and bear dress is a staple this is oh see this is hard because this is gorgeous um it's a very kind of innocent piece and I'd put a belt on with it and then I kind of wear it with like espadrilles and stuff. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. We'll see. If I don't wear it this summer, then it can go. This uh, dress, this shirt dress hasn't actually been worn yet, so we'll keep this. This is a shirt dress from Zara. Uh, this is a cute dress. I've had this for years. This is like Bershka. Yeah, love this. Top shop jumpsuit. Love that. Love this Zara dress. My Revolve dress. These meshy pieces. Now I'm gonna keep the jumpsuit, but I'm gonna pass on the dress just because it's like it doesn't fit me quite right, which is such a shame. Um, because it is absolutely stunning. Another revolve dress, this is by the brand Majorelle. They Majorelle just have the nicest pieces. We have this is a uh play suit that I wore to the Love Island final. This is from Topshop, this is gorgeous. I don't know why my Topshop haul the other week was just so kind of disappointing because they had some amazing pieces last year. H&M dress I love, love this, this can go, this is a Shein dress, I wore this a good few times now to the point where I'm a bit like I don't really want to wear it again. This is an ASOS dress, I actually wore this when I went to the labs in Paris, that was the day after the Love Island final. Uh, this Zara dress, I bought this with all good intentions of wearing it and I just haven't and I don't really know why, I don't know if it's just not like, I don't know, like because I hold it up and I'm like oh it's so cosy. But like, when am I gonna wear like a jumper dress? You know? We'll give it one more chance. This is, oh I love this, this nasty girl dress. Zara dress, these are all just, my dresses are just so me. Like, I, I'm so picky when I buy dresses. Again, another meshy dress. I'm gonna try this on actually. We have a, where's this from? Oh, Pull and Bear, love that. My Zara, love, love, I love everything. This is bad, I'm not actually getting rid of much. <laughs> I told you, this is the hardest section. I'm gonna get rid of this Primark dress just because, you know, it's featured, it's been iconic, and it's time for someone else to love it. Similarly with this dress, I this is from Tesco. I wore this so much in the autumn winter, and, oh, actually, no, I'm gonna wear it next year. <laughs> I'm like, I don't wanna wear it again, but yeah, I do, I really do. This with just, like, tights and a pair of boots is just such a winner. Wore this yesterday. This is an ASOS jumpsuit. I haven't worn this in so long, but I haven't had the chance. I'm gonna get rid of this Primark dress just because it hasn't been worn in a long time so it's not going to be. This Zara dress is staying, this is just iconic, I love this. What have we got? Revolve dress. See this Free People dress is hard because I bought this, I think it cost me like £120 and it's like none of these dresses are like that expensive at all, these are all like £30 maximum but I, well except the Revolve ones obviously but you know the majority and I love this but I just don't think I could see myself packing it in my suitcase to go on holiday so I think it's time to pass it on oh I'm so sad I wore this dress recently when did I wear that oh sorry meet up from some Zara love this um mm, I'm gonna get rid of that I wore that to my family Christmas meal not this year the year before and um don't really want to keep it Zara Zara Oh, see, I bought this. It's a pretty, pretty little thing. Oh, no, it's O'Polly. And I'm always like, oh, my gosh, one day I'm going to get fit and wear it. And I never do. But I'm going to keep it just because it's cute. But maybe one day I'll have the guts to wear it. This Zara denim dress is going. I've had that for way too long. Uh, where's this? This is another denim dress. Oh, I'm going to keep it because they're, this one can go, though. Oh, but I don't want to. They're just so short. No, if I wear shorts under, they're fine. Uh, this I wore to my 19th birthday party at Mahiki. <laughs> and i love it i'm keeping that these are just such staples this was my new year's dress from last year's and not this not the one just got the one before 
love it. I felt amazing in this. Uh, most of my, you'll notice like none of my dressy dresses are in here. They're in the other wardrobe. So there's play suit, love. Oh, I wore this to Talia's birthday. Um, oh, I haven't worn this. This is a H&M dress. I don't think it quite fits me how I want it to. I'm going to pass this on because someone will love that. Is this ASOS? I haven't actually worn this. I don't like this. This can go. Oh my gosh, that is progress. Come on. I just feel like this Zara thing should go, but I only bought it like two months ago. It's not had a fair chance. Okay, shall we do the jeans and stuff? This is the intimidating one. So I find this pretty intimidating just because... Well, firstly, there's things that under here that shouldn't be here. Um, where, what else? Oh, look. More things. Oh, almost Jack Will's dress. I love that. So, let's start over this side. Firstly, I have a load of hangers, which is a good sign anyway. I have this skirt from Primark. Now, I love this. I don't wear it much, but when I do, I really do like it, and it fits really nice, so I'm going to keep that. It's just good for kind of autumn times. I have my Mosquito H&M Donald Duck top. I love this. This is not going anywhere. Then I have two L'Oreal robes that say Emily on. I don't know why they're hung up there. I really don't know. Uh, I guess I didn't have another place for them, but they're not going. I have another robe. This skirt from Zara I bought ages ago, and it still has the tags on because it just doesn't fit. It's just too big, so this is going to have to be passed on. I have this skirt from Primark. No, this is Forever 21, actually. I have this Forever 21 skirt that I bought for Disney with my family back in October. I wore this, like, every day in Disney, and I loved it. I just don't know if I can see myself wearing it anywhere but Disney. So I'm going to pass this on because someone can get some great wear out of that in the summer. And then I always keep these every time I clear my wardrobe out. They're a pair of Zara shorts. And even part of me now just wants to keep them. But I just don't know what I'm going to wear them with. There was a matching, like, a cohort top. I'm going to keep them. But I got rid of that. Um, but they're just really sweet. So they're going to stay for now. I have a pair of Zara shorts. I haven't worn them yet. This skirt's staying just because it's really useful for kind of... Like, you know when you have semi kind of, you know, smart things and you just want to wear a skirt and, like, a black top? That's really useful for that. We have another cold skirt from Primark, the same as the burgundy one, but this one's black. We'll keep that. This skirt from Zara's going. I had this for years. I used to wear it a lot, actually. Uh, just not my vibe anymore. It's a bit kind of, a bit young. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? This is my black skirt from Jack Wills. I will be keeping this because I really like this. And it's just, you know, one of those things you put on, it's like, oh, I feel really nice in this. And yeah, it's very, it's like a very festive piece. I wear it around Christmas. I have my denim skirt from Zara. Oh, part of me wants to keep this because I wore this on one of my first dates with my boyfriend. But at the same time, I've just bought a brand new skirt that I absolutely love that fits way better than this one. I'll keep it for now just because I am a hoarder and anything that has any sentimental value is not going anywhere. This can go. I bought this ages ago and I haven't worn it. This can go, this is another one in Primark skirts that I love, but I just don't wear it. It's because in the, actually, to be fair, mm, yeah, mm, oh my gosh. Yeah, well, oh wait, is it broken? Oh, it start, has it started to break? Yeah, it has. Oh, but I can glue that. Oh, I don't know, because I feel like I don't wear this in the UK in like autumn, winter, because it's freezing. But then if I was going somewhere nicer, then I might. I'll see if my mom can fix this. If she can fix it, it's staying. And then, of course, my Zara kids skirt. This is staying. I wear this so much. I have this cord from Zara, which I bought with every intention of wearing and just didn't. So that can be passed on. What do we have here? Uh, these are just... Is this three shorts? Well, these are skorts. These can go. These are too big. I've never worn them. But we have my two Zara skirts that I love. Black skirts are like the handiest thing in the whole entire world. This Topshop skirt I got... I don't remember where I was going, but I like it. It just doesn't really fit. It's too big. So this can go... This Zara skirt I wore a lot, but it's just one of them ones that you have, you know when you have to keep pulling it down because it keeps riding up as you walk? It's one of them. I'm keeping this Jack Will skirt because in autumn winter this tucked into like a black jumper is such a go-to outfit for me. I have these two skirts, so this one is Zara. I bought it like two years ago, I love it. I've never worn it, but I've never had a top to wear it with, so I'm going to find a top. And then this is a Primark skirt that I bought, I really like this, this is staying. I got a pair of pink trousers, which I never actually wear in their culotte style, and culotte style just doesn't suit me anymore, so bye, and I have them in maroon as well, so they can go. Gosh, I can't believe how brutal I'm being. Ah. Okay, I have them culotte trousers in white. I am going to keep them, just because they're handy, like white trousers are handy to have. Burgundy trousers, love them, we're keeping them. Um, I have this animal print skirt, I'm always like, oh, animal print's fashionable, but not really me, but maybe I'll wear it, but I'm not going to. 
We have these trousers that I got from Lipsy like three years ago. These jeans I've had for about four years. And again, another one of them Primark skirts that just fit so well. It's really annoying when you find something that fits so well and it's like, I don't really get a chance to wear it because when I would wear that colour, it's like autumn, but I live in England. I'm keeping these jeans because I love them. These trousers can stay from Primark. Where are these? Oh, these can go. These are Zara trousers. I wore these once and they're just not really my vibe. Um, these are, are these Lipsy again? Lipsy do really good black trousers, but I they're just old now and they're not really black anymore. These, oh, I got these from River Island, and I did really like these, but because of my body shape, they're not the most flattering thing in the world, so I'm going to pass them on. These are my black Jamie jeans, so they can stay. These are a pair of black ripped Zara jeans with a red and white stripe down the side. They can go. My <laughs> Levi's mom jeans, they are not going anywhere. Don't even try and take them from me, because I'll have nothing else to wear. I have then, oh, is this another pair of Jamie jeans? Do I have two pairs of Jamie jeans? Why do I have two? Or are these... Yeah, they're both Jamie's. Okay. All right. Okay, we have more Jamie jeans. I mean, I feel like jeans are really good to have if they fit. Oh, I really like these, but they're just a bit short. These are all Topshop Jamie's that I can't get rid of. Like, they just get so much wear. These are my straight jeans that I love. These are my Levi's mom jeans. These are a pair of jeans that I have had for about four years and again wear every single day. These are going to go. I like these. These are like BDG jeans. I really do like them, but they're just a bit grungy for me i'm not really that grungy you know oh i know what these are these are the jeans that i bought in um in orlando and <laughs> they're too small for me but i want to grow into i say grow into fit into okay that looks so much better that looks so much better i'm happy with that i'm gonna get rid of these skirts that i'm not gonna wear why am i being silly okay where is it you can go you can go to a new home that loves you so can you you can go to a new home because I've worn you loads. I feel like that's a pretty good effort. Okay, this is my jumper and like jogger drawer. Um, and it's ended up with like random t-shirts and stuff in. And my thinking is like, I want to be able to see everything. So these are my night pro joggers. I wear these every day. These are staying. This can be passed on. What's this? Is this a Zara t-shirt? I think it is. Uh, this can stay. Jack Will's jumpers are staying because they are brilliant and I do not wear anything else. I just have loads of like t-shirts and it's like I don't really need them. See like I have so many things that I keep because I'm like oh maybe I'll need it. Like for, I have this black vest top because I'm like oh maybe on shoots I'll need it. But then I never end up blowing wearing it and it just gets in the way. I'm going to get rid of my Justin Bieber purpose tour joggers um, just because I have other ones that I prefer. They're not like the comfiest ones in the world either. What these? Oh these skirts are so handy. These are staying. Um, this is a top that Instagram gave me. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's an Adidas top, isn't it? I haven't actually worn this. I'm going to keep this because I think this would look really nice on James, but it's just not really my thing. Adidas hoodie. Hmm, I'm going to get rid of that because I don't wear it anymore. This can stay. This Adidas top is awesome. I love it. I love my self-indulgent top. This is a long sleeve. Oh, my long sleeve Jack Wills top. That needs to be hung up. This vest top can go. This is from Gilly Hicks. I've had this since I was about 15 and I love it, but I just don't wear it. Again, another vest top that I've got for shoots. What's this? Oh, this is a top that, oh, this top holds memories, man. I'm going to keep this. I'm so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe how much I'm actually getting rid of. It's like one thing keep, one thing throw. These are my Nike Pro, not throw, you know what I mean, pass on. These are my Nike Pro shorts. These are staying. They're the handiest thing in the world. My Vans jumper's staying. Oh, I don't know what to do about my Puma jumper. I never wear this anymore because it's so bright, but I went through a phase of wearing it like every day. We'll keep it. Because I've got less now, maybe I'll be more inclined to wear it. And then these t-shirts are just really handy. They're like oversized t-shirts, which are good. They're just good to have. And then my white Jack Wills jumper, which I love. Wow, everything, like the pile for this drawer is so much smaller now. Okay, so obviously everything's out the drawer. I've just cleaned the drawer out and I'm going to go through and put everything back in, all nicely like folded and rolled and stuff, and then... I will go through it one more time as I'm putting it back just in case there's things that I'm like, you know, I shouldn't be keeping that. Oh my gosh, it looks so much better. Oh, that's such a relief. Okay, on to the one that's way worse. So this is a bit of a joke. This has all of my swimwear, shorts, summer wear that I don't want to hang up. 
and loads of other things thrown in. As you can see, there is a lot of denim. So we need to sort through this because one does not need eight pairs of denim shorts. Now these were kind of gathered in the process of trying to find the perfect pair of shorts because like a lot of the shorts that I do like to wear are like vintage. So you can't just buy, like you can't try them on in a shop or like you can't return if you buy them online. It's quite annoying. But these, this pair are my like original pair of Levi's I've had since I was 13. These are my new ones that are like the comfiest thing in the world. So they're both staying. These are my Zara like mom shorts that I got when I was in Italy with Eros in the summer and I love them. I also got these are my new, are these the wedgie fit ones? Yeah, these are my new wedgie shorts. We'll be keeping them as well. These are also Levi's. And then these are 501s I'm pretty sure. Um, yes. And these I ordered online but I bought them when I was in the US so I couldn't send them back. And these are too big. So I'm going to be popping them on the to pass on pile. Then this is a pair of, I think these are Brandy Melville maybe. I think they are, it doesn't have a label in. But these are pretty cool, these are staying. Okay, wow, there's just so much everywhere. This is a pair of Hollister shorts I've had since I was about 11. Not even joking, maybe 12. Um, yeah, they're not very big. These are like the type of shorts that you wear around the pool on holiday. Um, yeah these are going though because i have replaced them with the new levi's that i love these shorts are top shop these are going i love these but they're just a bit like you can see my bum this skirt is pretty cool actually this is a levi's skirt and um i i really like it but i don't really wear it that often it's a bit kind of different but i'm gonna keep it just because i think it's cool and i think like levi's denim is just timeless you know you can keep it forever this is a denim skirt i actually just got a new denim skirt so i'm gonna pass this one on because this is just slightly not kind of what i'm going for right now okay well that's all the denim done now there's just everything else uh these tops should all be in the drawer above uh these are oh these are biker shorts i guess they can come in handy. This is my rash vest that's staying. I have my Levi's personalized Mickey t-shirt that they gifted me. They gave one to me and they gave one to Sophie, which is like the kindest thing in the world. This is my skirt that I wore to my 21st birthday. Um, it's cute, but I can't really see myself wearing it again, so I'm gonna pass it on. What else do we have? This dress from Zara is like a sundress. I love it, but I can't see myself wearing it again. These skorts are so short, but they're such a staple. It's so annoying. I wish they were a bit longer. This swimsuit from Aries, just a bit big, but I bought it in New York, so I couldn't exchange it. Uh, so yeah, this is going back. This skirt from Zara, I bought it like two winters ago and I loved it. And then I like just never wore it. It's like, it's textured. So I was like, oh, that's cute. It's different. But I've just never actually worn it. And I think it comes down to that thing again of in winter, it's just too cold to wear skirts. This skirt's also going. I got this for Fashion Week. I wore it in Fashion Week, but I just can't see myself wearing it again. Are these more... What's this? Oh, another skirt. That's staying. This is my Veronica Lodge top from my Riverdale Get the Look video. I love it, but again, I haven't worn it since that video. I kept it because I was like, I love it. I'm going to wear it all the time and look like Veronica. Didn't. More of these kind of just roll neck tops. They're really handy. This skirt's cute. I wore this in um, when I went to Ibiza in the summer. Just a really handy skirt. I like that. This is from like Bershka or something. Oh yeah, Pull and Bear. Shorts, these are from Zara. I bought these last summer. I absolutely love them. These shorts I wore in Orlando, I think it was. They're cute, right? They're Primark. This is a top that L'Oreal gifted me and it says worth it on. I will keep that forever. And then this is just a white top that I've had from H&M for years. I don't really wear that anymore. Uh, this is a skirt from Primark. I love this. These are like £10, but like the best thing ever staying. And then this is a... Where's this actually from? It doesn't have a label in. It's like a white kind of knit top. And I think maybe it was Brandy Melville. I'm going to keep this because I feel like I'll wear this in the summer. And then this top is also Brandy Melville. I got it last summer. I went... Like, last summer I lived like a five minute walk from Brandy Melville. So I bought a lot of stuff from there. Just kind of if I had like last minute events that I didn't have outfits for. And um, yeah, it's really annoying. She can't buy online so i can't even kind of link you to where you can get that but right on to the swimwear now i have a ton of swimming costumes that i don't really wear i'm gonna keep this one um just because if like i'm gonna choose one and that's the one i'm gonna keep the rest i'm gonna pass on this is my airy bikini that i wear to death that's staying um so like pretty much these are my tops and these are my bottoms so this is my Shein bikini that i've worn too many times i've worn this like 50 times already that can go this is my Hollister bikini that I'm keeping it's like a bit more covering so I quite like having ones that cover a bit more this can stay this can go I just I, I've worn these so many times that it's time for a change this can go this can stay these can stay 
My Calvin Klein bikini can go because that's just so extra and no one needs that. And another Calvin Klein bikini that I don't think I actually wore. Oh, oh my triangle bikini top. That can go. My gosh, I'm being brutal. These can stay. That can go. These are going. These are cute. I like these. These can stay. Oh, nothing overflows. That's brilliant. Wow. Okay, let's start by putting the denim back in. So, kind of skirts and shorts and everything go over here. Oh, it's so nice that everything, I'm going to be able to see everything and nothing's going to be a mess. So funny though, because this is all my summer clothing. And I haven't even lived in this place in the summer yet. And somehow it's all a mess. <laughs> And finally my pyjama drawer. This is a mess. But I kind of love everything in here. Not gonna lie. Look, my That Sunday Feeling t-shirt. Oh, that was from McFly tour in like, that was the Above the Noise tour that that band supported McFly on. And I still have it, because I'm a big fan. These are just all comfy clothes and I can't bear to part with them. These are tights, why is there tights in there? I actually don't think you're even ready to see the state of this room, like, this is ridiculous. Ready? Yeah, this is all going. How crazy is this? What the heck? Oh my gosh, I feel a bit sick. This is a bit ridiculous. So my friends, that is it. That is the wardrobe clear out done. This is kind of what we're working with. If you don't already follow my Depop, please do make sure you do because everything will be going up on there. I've now got an outfit on that I would never have normally chosen to wear because I can actually see everything, which is great fun. There will probably be another one of these in the near future just because although I was extremely brutal and I think I've probably got rid of half of my wardrobe, um, it continues because there's definitely things that I'm not going to wear over the summer. So maybe at the end of the summer we'll do another one. But I do really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do make sure you give it a massive thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. And I'll see you so very soon. Bye. 5 a.m. and we are in trouble. But we don't really care. Tell ourselves there's always.